Hey guys, Mr. Bouchard here, and um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the properties of Mineral Lab today. Um, so basically a couple things moving forward with this. All right, so what I'm going to give you guys are the tests for the lab. Um, you guys then have to use in the lab, it should be, if you scroll through down, you'll find the mineral flow chart. Okay, this mineral flow chart will lead you to the answers, all right? But you have to get all the characteristics of the minerals first to get your answers. So don't just try to backwards look up the answers and then figure out the characteristics. Make sure you're actually doing the characteristics first, all right? And then come to this chart. I'll explain this again at the end um, of this lesson. Okay, so mineral one. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so you got to look at obviously the breakage pattern. So cleavage versus fracture first. You can copy down its uh, colors that you see. All right, and I'm going to perform the streak test. Okay, so that's the streak test right here. Okay, so that's the color of it. All right, glass plate test. Okay, and you're gonna notice right here. Okay, so that's the results of it. All right, so that's mineral number one. So again, make sure you get all the characteristics. Don't forget, oh, um, the luster also. All right, so that's another characteristic you need to write down. Okay, and again, just looking at it, what's the luster? Okay, next, number two. All right, so here's a sample. So once again, examine it for a breakage pattern. So cleavage or fracture, what do you think? Okay, then I'm gonna do the tests for the streak and glass plate. Okay, there's a streak test. Okay, uh, the hardness test. Okay, uh, you see something on there, but I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh, so kind of wiped away. All right, so that's one little hint to that. Okay, and don't forget luster, metallic or non-metallic. Okay, all right, number three. Okay, so looking closely at this once again, what breakage pattern? Cleavage or fracture? Remember, for, uh, cleavage means is a repeating shape. Okay, flat sides. Okay, metallic or non-metallic luster. Okay, so think of that one. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down again and do the test. Okay, and here are the results for the streak test. Okay, so you can note that color. And once again, I'm gonna do this one again, just to be sure. Yep, okay. So there you go, there's a test for that one. So that's number three. Okay, all right, number four. Okay, so again, get the colors of it. Cleavage or fracture, metallic or non-metallic. Okay, so make sure you get all the characteristics. All right, streak test and glass plate for hardness. Okay, so again, there's the streak test. There's the glass plate. Okay, so clearly that's the results of it. And again, that's the one we're looking at. Okay, so that's number four. Okay, number five. Again, note the colors, metallic or non-metallic. What breakage pattern? This is a very interesting one. Okay, so make sure you take a look at that. Make sure you get your answer for that one. Okay, streak, glass plate. Okay, so once again, here's the streak test. There's the glass plate. Um, Careful, that's a seam on the cabinet. All right, so I don't see anything on there. All right, so that's the results for this one.
number five. Okay, number six. Here's number six. All right, so again, colors, breakage pattern, metallic or non-metallic. Okay, now streak and glass plate. Okay, so there is the streak. And there's the glass plate. So again, that's number six that we're looking at. Okay, next one, number seven. Note the colors. Okay, note the breakage pattern. Cleavage or fracture. Hmm. Uh, metallic or non-metallic. Again, does it look like metal? Okay, test. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, number seven, so there's a test. And there's a test. Alrighty, so that's number seven. All right, number eight. Very interesting breakage pattern. Hopefully you can get that. Very clear on certain edges. Okay, they don't, remember, they don't have to be perfect. Okay, so do you see a repeating shape? Is it metallic or non-metallic? Uh, colors, All right? Streak test, glass plate, and again, I'll try to wipe it away, and it looks like, yep, yeah, I don't see any in there. Okay, so that's number eight. Okay, number nine. Breakage pattern. Is there a repeating shape? Hmm. Again, metallic or non-metallic, make sure you get the color of it. Color definitely will help you in the final description. Okay. Okay, here's your streak test. And here is your glass plate. And again, that's number nine. Okay, all right, number 10. Okay, so cleavage or fracture. Looks like an interesting shape. Uh, metallic or non-metallic. Colors you see. And streak, glass plate, and there's your streak test, and there is your glass plate, okay, and again I'll wipe, mm -hmm. looks pretty clean. All right, and then, um, oh sorry, that was number 10, okay, and then number 11, look closely at this one. Sorry for the out of focus. Sometimes it's hard to get it uh, fully in focus. All right, but looking at it from a side standpoint is the best way to look at this one. All right, do you see a shape or resemblance of a shape? Hmm. Okay, um, metallic or non-metallic, coloring. All right, and I'm gonna do the test. So again, there's your streak. So note the color. Glass plate. Looks like it, I don't see anything. I'm trying to wipe it away. That's number 11. Okay, so to give you a nice look at it. All right, and lastly, number 12. Once again, look at it from a side standpoint. Very important. This one's hard to see the best you can. Does it resemble cleavage or fracture? Do you see a shape to the overall thing? It's flat sides. OK, 
Okay, colors, there's lots of colors here, so take a look at it. Record down the colors. Okay, and then the this one clearly, you can see the color. Okay, and then here, oh, again. There's the streak plate. So whatever was on there wiped away. And there it is one more time. So again, looking at it from a side standpoint of view and remember metallic or non-metallic. Okay, so as far as these go, so that's number 12. Um, what you have to finally do is take all these samples we just looked at and you have to follow the flow chart. Okay, so this is the flow chart. So again, it's broken down into groupings, so cleavage is down here. No cleavage is on top, so these are fracture on top, this part of the chart, and then cleavage are down here. Then you take it a step further. The next test you look at is streak. Is it a colored streak or a white streak? So those are the ones with no cleavage. Okay, and then sometimes they give you other specific things, such as colors, uh, hardnesses, so once you make your decision, you can kind of go that way and figure out your answer. So an example, no cleavage, street colorless or white, hardness 7, glassy luster, so glassy look, and if it was, uh, let's see, um, six-sided crystals, it would be satin spark quartz. Okay, so you get the characteristics from what you do, uh, described. Okay, um, down on the bottom, again, these are the cleavage ones. The only difference, you have colored streak, colorless or white streak. Uh, they have cleavage planes that you have to pay attention to. So remembering one cleavage plane means it's layered or flat. So if you see layering in the side of the mineral sample, that is one plane of cleavage. Uh, two would be two breakage uh, directions with flat sides or shapes. Um, three cleavage planes would be like cubic, rhombic, um, so definitely three uh, breakage directions, so three-dimensional. And then four would be mean it would be like pure middle, okay? Um, so that's the sort of look on, that you would look on that one. Uh, the colored streaks, um, just be, again, mindful of what it says up here. Make sure if you do pick an answer, it matches the description shown. All right, so that's how you're going to do this lab and identify all 12 minerals that were shown. Okay, so hopefully that helps, and I'll see you guys next time.